You deserve to wake up in a clean home tomorrow and you know it. So let's spend a few short yet strategic hours together to make it happen. Hi there, I'm Alexandra Beter, and welcome to this Sunday refresh video. I really wanna help you guys get some pep in your step, get some things done so you don't have to spend all day on this, but at the same time, it's gonna make a significant difference in your space because you deserve a clean space, your family deserves a clean space, and a couple strategic hours is all you need to truly make a massive difference in your home. So we're gonna get started right away. If you do enjoy this, I would so appreciate it if you would like the video and consider subscribing if you're new. So with that said, let's go. All right, let's do this. So I showed you guys the time when I got started because it was 1017 and I have until 130. And sometimes, especially with the Sunday refresh, it's nice to give yourself a cap on time. That way, it doesn't feel like you have to spend your entire day off on this. You can give yourself a couple hours. And like I said, with that pep in your step, it really does just help you get so much more done in so much less time. I also wear house shoes, I call them, like sneakers that I only wear inside the house. And I swear to you, it makes me clean so much faster. I know that's random, but it's true. I also wanted to say I'm really good at keeping up with like 90% of the house, but there is that 10% that falls by the wayside throughout the week when I'm busy. So that is what I'm trying to tackle today, along with getting through the entire house and straightening it up. So that 10% that fell by the wayside is the laundry as usual. And I'm going to break it up to about like three different sections throughout the video and throughout this few hours of cleaning. I find it way less intimidating that way. And we're gonna move on from the laundry room for a minute. Come back to this later. One load's in the washing machine, one more to go. I'm gonna fluff what was on the floor to fold it, and then I'm gonna restock some things. I love restocking on Sundays. It's just so satisfying. And I'm going to restock all the towels in here, so the microfibers for cleaning, the dish towels. And then I also have some sponges I haven't taken out of the package on purpose because I wanted to restock those with you guys too. And all of these sponges are from Ikea. I'm pretty sure it was three for $1.25, so a great deal. And I also bought them because they match those microfiber towels. You all know I love like aesthetic things, especially when, it, well, you know, home decor and cleaning and anything. Um, so I was excited about that. I'm gonna refresh the other areas over here and make sure it's all straightened up and ready to go. And then I also brought some hand towels down for the bathroom. So restocking and refreshing anything and everything is what I try and do on Sundays, making sure the hand towels are fresh in all of the bathrooms, the bath towels, putting everything away that's on the counters and I started to put stuff away in the kitchen and then I tripped over a big box which you guys will see in a couple seconds I have been meaning to put away these small trees um, holiday trees that are on the porch and the sign that I tripped over that box that has been sitting here for two weeks was the last sign that I needed to finally take care of it so we're gonna do that in a little bit too Oh, baby. Right here and 
And next on my list was to gather up all the toys and pick up the playroom. Having all of this organization is seriously life-changing. I know it looks so chaotic right now, but it does not take me very long to take care of at all since I finally have something for everything to go inside of. And I shared all of this organization in a recent IKEA video. So if you're interested, then you can check that out. I give so many tips and tricks and I share a lot of what's new at IKEA and my favorite things too. So see within just a couple seconds, significant progress here. So we are back in the living room straightening up here and part of a Sunday refresh is definitely working smarter and not harder. So I'm going to wipe down all the countertop surfaces, get everything off the floor that I can. That way I can run the robot vacuum and it's actually a mop and vacuum in one. So I'm not going to do it myself like you guys have seen me do in the vast majority of my cleaning videos. I'm going to let that do it so I can focus on other things and again, get more done in less time. So the trees are put away. I'm going to let in some sunlight it was a very rainy sort of day today um, and then once I have surfaces emptied and wiped down like the dining table here I'm going to put some chairs up on tables that way they're not in the way of the robot vacuum We have the dining table all cleared off and we're almost done with all of our surfaces. Now something else I love to do as part of a Sunday refresh is just a slight change of scenery. So I like to move around some home decor and I had separate floral vases on the island. It was kind of random. So I put those in the living room in different areas. I also am someone who typically will use just like a regular multi-surface spray on countertops. But today I wanted it to disinfect. So I'm gonna use those disinfecting wipes I just showed all over the place guys in the living room in the kitchen on the remotes on the faucet the countertops pretty much everything Sometimes cleaning your home over and over again can get very mundane as we all know That's one of the main reasons these videos exist So sometimes even just switching up the products you're using and moving things around that you already have can be a huge motivator for me So hopefully that will work for all of you guys too. the kitchen's done The living room's done the dining room's done and now I'm gonna put those little chairs up on the table I also am going to pick up all of these island stools so that way we have as much floor space open for that robot vacuum as possible. And the downstairs is refreshed, so now I'm gonna grab everything that's accumulated on the stairs throughout picking up the downstairs area and get all of those items put away. I'm going to do a little before and after of making my bed, and I started working on, I guess I'll call it like a home decorating video, and I wanted to show you guys like tips and ideas of how to make your bed look very nice and elevated without spending any money. In my case, I just used everything I already have, so if you guys want me to talk about that in a video let me know i have the footage but i just wasn't sure now we're on to another round of the laundry so again splitting it up as you go if you need that for motivation like i do i put a bunch of laundry on my bed to fold super quick and put away super quick 
I used to be the kind of person that would do laundry all day and then wait to put all of it away. And then it was just so much that it was like hard for me to get myself to do it. So now I've learned to, you know, every time I'm done folding a load, just put that load away and I get way more done. I'm going to put the last load of laundry in, which is all whites, and then I'll fold that laundry super quick. And I can show you guys a little bit of my closet, which I just did a decluttering video on. And oh my gosh, it was so nice needed. Sometimes small changes in your home will make the biggest difference and make your life so much easier. Like adding that bench in here last week in that decluttering video, honestly has been a game changer. I have way less clothing out in the bathroom. It's easy to fold things if I need to. Now here's another progress shot of the laundry room. Here's a shot of tackling the last of the things in here. The lighting looks very weird, so sorry about that, but I wanted to get everything in a pile on the left that I still need to iron. And then we're gonna wipe down the folding table and vacuum in here. So I still have another fairly large load to fold and put away. A little bit later but regardless the progress in here from when we started this video is a million times better and a huge motivator for me to get this done aside from the fact that I obviously really needed to is so it is super cleaned up so that way we can work on tiling um, the folding table wall in here this weekend I'm gonna finish up by wiping down the washing machine and the dryer and I am so 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 glad I got this done I really did not want to start the week out with a mess in the laundry room because I swear it just makes every day harder when you're trying to get ready get everyone's clothes together I'm also restocking the bath towels in my bathroom too And the last project I want to tackle is this bathroom counter. I also am switching out the hand towel here. And honestly, if I am using an out of season hand towel, then I just flip the design to the back so you can't tell. I'm gonna restock the contacts here and then wipe down the vanity and the sinks because girl, I need to start the week out with a very clean sink. I do my hair over this sink and I put in like um, a powder hair product right here. So I just need to know for my sanity and for my stress levels that all of this is wiped down and clean because weekday mornings are a rush for us. I'm sure they are a rush for you. So having everything in order and very clean is just the way to go. It is the best way to start your Monday. Thank you. 
The very last step of this Sunday refresh was to vacuum the bathroom because hair accumulates in here way too quick. And then I will show you the clock. It was just before 1.30. So again, I gave myself a couple of hours to get the house clean with pep in my step hurrying and just making things happen and then I could enjoy the rest of my day. So I encourage all of you guys to do this and I hope you found it really motivating and remember the cleaning playlist is below. So girl, I'd love to hang out with you all day and tackle all of your chores. And that is everything for the Sunday refresh. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and motivating. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you are not done cleaning, don't worry, girl. There are so many videos linked down below. I'd love to spend time with you and continue to keep you motivated. So thank you again for watching. And I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.